all right welcome back to the channel everyone it's been a while since i posted a video but uh we got opening day tomorrow thursday up in new york at saratoga uh, that's a place where i believe favorites go and they lose so this whole meet that i will be covering not entire in its entirety but just here and there random spots races that i feel i have a, a good edge or i find something good that i can go on and put some money down on and hopefully make some money so um like i said that's where i think the plate where horses go and lose the favorites so we're going to try and beat a couple favorites on opening day not going to get too crazy with it because for one it's opening day and you do not know how the track's going to play out or what and number two the exact same reason for that reason is why i won't be playing a whole lot but i'll be playing maybe a hundred dollar total bet day betting day i guess if you want to say it or whatever and i'm going to start off in race number three uh it's gonna be for three euros going a mile and 116 on the turf I'm going to place a win bet on the number nine, Grand Journey, trained by Rudy Rodriguez. Jose Ortiz will be on board in the irons. Six to one morning line odds. I'm going to put $14 on it to win. Like I said, not a whole lot. On this channel, you will not find me telling you to bet $500 on a horse or any kind of crazy number amount of bets or whatever. So be sure to like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Because I will be posting plays all throughout the Saratoga meet. Um... Getting back to Grand Journey, uh, last race at Belmont on June 25th of this year, obviously, uh, went a mile and one eighth and ran a hundred Echo Bay speed figure and won by, I don't even remember how many lengths it was, I think it was like three or something, I don't know. But I'm also gonna play that in an exact, I'm gonna play the nine over the two, four and the six, and then I'm gonna play that for $4 and then I'm gonna play it backwards for $2, the two, four, six over the nine. Just in case it don't win and it gets second, which like happens a lot, but I'm gonna play it backwards just in case. So do as you please, but I like the number nine grand journey in race number three. And then uh, on to race number seven, the Wilton Stakes is gonna be ran on a mile and it is for Philly, three-year-old Phillies. And I'm gonna be placing a win bet on the number two, Gina Romantica, Romantica. Uh, eight to one morning line odds trained by chad brown and flavian Pratt will be on board in the irons uh last race at belmont on june 7th went a mile and 116 and won by a nose with an earning an 82 echo base speed figure so chad brown at eight to one that's a really good price probably i guess you can say maybe a todd pletcher horse might take this one but i don't know we'll see uh, I want to play an, an exacto with the favorite, I guess. Even though I'm trying to beat the favorite, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to put the 1-2 over the 6-7. And then for my trifecta wheel, I'm going to play the same thing. 1-2 with the 6-7. I'm going to try and get a price in there with the 4 and the 5 for third place. And then in fourth place, um, did I say that right? Third place? Yeah. Then in fourth place, I'm going to use the, the same exact numbers, but I'm going to add the 1-9 for fourth. And that one dollar bet's gonna cost you twelve dollars. So, hope you take some shots. If you want to make smaller increments, that's, I'm just telling you what I'm gonna be personally playing, as I always do. So it's always gamble at your own risk. Uh, this is just my picks and analysis on how I think the race is gonna go, or whatever, or really is just what I'm gonna be betting because that's what the main reason why I made this channel. So, no pedigree information here, no backstories. I don't care about two sire, two grandpas ago, whatever. Uh, this, you ain't gonna find that on this channel. And then uh, on to race number nine, the Shilerville, Shulerville. I'm from Texasville. I don't know how to pronounce it, Ville, because I don't live in New Yorkville. Uh, Stakes is gonna be a grade three for Phillies. Two year old Phillies for 175,000. It's the main race of the day there at uh, Saratoga. And I'm gonna go against everyone or I'm gonna go against the favorite, like I said. Uh, the favorite's gonna be the number one. That's the filly from Justify. Uh, Just Cindy is her name. And uh, I'm gonna try and beat her Beat her with the four. Uh, Bedario, if I said that right, at eight to one. Trained by Robert Reed Jr., Joe Rosario will be on board in the irons. 
Um, and I'm also gonna use the number six, but I'm not gonna place wind bets. I'm just gonna use them in, in I guess the exotics. And then number six, me and my shadow trained by Mark Cassie and Tyler Gaffleyon will be on board in the irons. So I'm gonna play the four and the six over the one and the nine. And then the, the trifecta, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Four, six, four, six, I'm gonna use the one and the nine for third place. So hopefully we can then get them to go one, two, and then get the favorite in there for third, or one of the two semi-favorites, I guess, in there for third. So that's gonna be it as far as exotic wagering goes. Uh, now we're gonna go on to multi-race wagering. I'm gonna be really short. I'm not gonna play a whole lot, like I said, because it's opening day, so we'll see how the track plays out. And then we'll just uh, just fire as we go uh, moving forward. Uh, one spot I did find is I'm going to play a pick three in race number seven. I'm going to get a single to two. Race number eight, I'm going to go three, six, twelve. Twelve is a long shot. Has a pretty good chance, but hopefully we can get it there. And then race number nine, the four and the six, as I'm trying to beat the favorite. So uh, <clears throat> so hopefully we can cash that. I'm going to play a $2 ticket. $2 is going to cost you six, so $1 for six bucks or a 50 cent pick three for whatever and then i'm also going to use exact same numbers on the pick four starting in race seven except i'm going to add the one the one two uh race number eight the three six twelve race number nine the four and the six and then race number ten i'm going to go let's see two what all right six deep in race number ten because i don't i do not want to get smoked it's a pretty wide open race uh you can make a case for pretty much just about anyone even the long shots just because it's the last race and long shots tend to, I guess, show up and win somehow in the last race and blow everyone's ticket up. So I'm gonna go six deep. I'm no particular favorite order. I'm just gonna throw out the numbers, the one, four, five, six, 10, and the 11. But the 11, I think has a legit chance at actually winning. If you do decide to sing, we're now we're down a little bit. And that's the one that Irad's gonna be on. So Irad always gets the good horses, the better horses, whatever. So if you want to use him, use the nine, I'm sorry, use the 11, and also found the 10, which I lean more towards too. And that 50 cent ticket's gonna cost you $36. And also forgot, let me see where to go. Turn on laptop. Come on. Race number six, I'm going to, where is it at? Jeez, I guess I didn't write it down. Race number six, it's another race obviously. I wrote it down right here somewhere. I'm gonna be playing the number one starry, starry night. Um, Look good the last race out, Juan. Definitely is on the upswing of improving. So I believe the morning line odds were 15 to one. So I'm gonna be placing a nice little win wager on that. Hopefully we can beat the favorite in that race. And that's pretty much gonna be it. That's what I'm gonna be playing uh, for tomorrow opening day at Saratoga. So good luck. Let me down let me know down in the comments below who do you have in the Schuylerville, Schulerville, whateverville it's called. Who's your favorite to win it? And then also in the Wilton Stakes. Comment down below, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.